Baker's Yeast and Algae Cultures have traveled to NASA's International Space Station and back to UBC and could hold clues about space travel for humans. On Wednesday, researchers announced some of the 6,000 samples that were sent to space are back at the university. And now the real work begins to see how these microorganisms fared. Researcher Corey Nislo picked up the samples himself at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida after the Artemis One capsule returned to Earth in December. You're just like, okay, I'm going to pick up some material. And, you know, it's no big deal. I was um, just focused on getting back to the lab in Vancouver. But when I got to the lab, and the humidity hit me. All of a sudden, I realized, oh, this is what we've been waiting for. And you kind of have to pinch yourself and say, oh, this is what we've been waiting for. And it worked. Researchers will now be looking at what impact radiation and near-zero gravity had on the microorganisms.